My name is Joe Chikwi. I'm professor and chairman at Cedar Sinai in Los Angeles, and my focus is robotic mitral valve repair. Many patients want to know when they come and see me in the office, can their mitral valve disease be treated just with medication? And I sort of explain it as though you were sitting at home watching the television and suddenly you feel water kind of trickling down on your head and you look up and there's a leak in the ceiling. And you really have two options here. Medication is the equivalent of just painting over that wet patch. Fixing things surgically is the equivalent of going up to the roof, finding the hole, patching that, letting the whole thing dry and then painting over. And that's the way to treat a fundamental problem of mitral valve disease. So there are two broad ways to treat a mitral valve that doesn't work properly. You can either replace the valve with an artificial valve. There are broadly two types of artificial valve, either a tissue or animal valve, or a metal, also called a mechanical valve. And then there's the way that we prefer, if possible, and that's to repair it. When we're thinking about how to repair a mitral valve, we're really trying to achieve a valve that doesn't leak, but it isn't too tight. And there are a few different ways to do that. One of the important things that we do is we place a ring or a band around the valve. That's really important because often the valve has stretched too much and we have to correct that. The other essential part of repairing most valves is to fix the problem with the leaflets that probably move too much. There are two broad ways of doing that. One of the classic ways, and it's certainly the way that I find works well and lasts long, is something called resection, where you literally cut out the small bit of the valve that's too floppy and join it together with sutures that are finer than a human hair. The other way to repair the valve is using cords that are artificial that reproduce the body's own natural cords and restore the way that the valve works. There are three ways that we access the mitral valve. The first way is the way that most surgeons were taught, and that's a stenotomy approach, where we're going through the middle of the breastbone, right in the middle of the chest. The second way is minimally invasive surgery, and that's usually a much smaller incision, probably about not much bigger than the short end of a credit card, and we do that by going between the ribs. A newer way to access the mitral valve is via a vein in the leg. Currently, we really reserve transcatheter approaches for older, frailer patients. For patients that need mitral valve surgery, I think that the most important thing you can do is find a specialist mitral valve surgeon that can safely and reliably repair your valve in a way that's going to give you the longest possible great result. If what you want is a minimally invasive approach, it's worth understanding that that's a smaller group of surgeons, so work with your cardiologist to find the right program for you. The one thing that I want every patient to leave my office knowing is that this mitral valve can be treated really, really safely, relatively easily by experienced programs. Right now in the United States, the risk of having a bad outcome after mitral valve repair is less than 0.3 of 1%. This is a super safe procedure with a 99% or better success rate. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.